You used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look. Grace and peace, you guys. Welcome to the Standard of Truth podcast, where we discuss all things social, cultural, political, and theological from a biblical perspective. Today, I need to react to a recent uh, news appearance by my state senator, uh, Raphael Warnock, who actually happens to serve double duty as a local pastor of the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church here in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I have very strong opinions about uh, Raphael Warnock. I do struggle to call him a pastor uh, because pastors who are charged with the responsibility of shepherding the flock of God, as outlined in the scriptures, typically don't support sinful atrocities such as baby assassination in the womb. But here we have a U.S. senator who happens to share my ethnic image. He is a melanated man. And for some reason, Raphael Warnock, who claims to be a, 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 a follower of Jesus and a preacher of the gospel and a shepherd, a local pastor, struggles with reconciling his supposed to be biblical Christian worldview with his secular atheistic political position as a U.S. state senator in this country. Um, I would refer to Raphael Warnock as a social Marxist that does not align his views with the biblical testimony of scripture. And I would also say that he represents what I've been calling Jim Crow 2.0. He is one of the front men and foremost proponents of Jerome Crow. Basically, Jerome Crow is a, is a political ideology of subjugation, where all things evil, all things wicked, all things that are anti-God, anti-Christ, anti-human flourishing are pushed and, and, and encouraged despite the fact that they are harmful and more importantly, the despite the fact that they are sinful. Raphael Warnock claims to be able to reconcile his biblical worldview and his Christian faith with the idea that baby murder, that is baby assassination in the womb, should be between a woman and her doctor. However, the testimony of scripture does disagree with him. And so we're going to be examining him as part of the puppet master system of Jerome Crow. And my question is, who is your master? Senator Warnock. Uh, Senator Warnock was recently on CNN. And as you guys know, this country is dealing with a border crisis of um, enormous proportions. Our southern border has typically been porous. And our previous administration campaigned on the promise of building that big, beautiful wall and securing the border, not against immigration. The issue is illegal immigration. I'm constantly talking about how uh, this modern political construct that we find ourselves living in they want to redefine terms. They want to redefine terms and they don't want to speak in truth. They don't want to echo and use words as they are supposed to be properly used, but rather they want to sanitize language in order to make you believe that what the word means is not what it really means. So for example, instead of calling an entrant into this country who crossed the border illegally, you're not supposed to call them illegals. You're supposed to call them undocumented migrants. Notice how when you try to sanitize illegal alien, which is a, it is a, it is a forthright term that should, we should be allowed to use because it accurately describes exactly what we're dealing with. When someone who breaks the law 
and attempts to, and then successfully enters into this country illegally, bypassing our immigration, our lawful immigration process, they don't want you to call them illegal. They want you to call them an undocumented migrant. They do that so that it desensitizes and forces you to turn off your brain to where you're not thinking rightly about these things, but rather you are thinking more emotionally about these things. That's what they want you to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and share a video where Senator Warnock was recently on CNN, and I'm going to engage uh, with his comments. And I just wanna ask some questions about who is this man's master? Take a listen. A horrible tragedy in your state, I don't need to tell you. Lake and Riley, a 22-year-old Augusta student, or Augusta University nursing student, she was bludgeoned to death last month while on a run on the UGA campus. The suspect is an undocumented, undocumented immigrant from Venezuela who was released after crossing the border illegally, had a criminal record in New York, was still a free person. Uh, Biden mentioned her during his speech Thursday night, pushed to do so uh, by a Georgia Republican. Take a listen. Not really. I. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands? Now, before I engage and even get to Senator Warnock's response, I actually want to acknowledge the fact that President Joe Biden was using very accurate language there, and he was speaking in truth. Now, I don't know what kind of geriatric steroids they have President Biden on, but I do want to at least acknowledge and applaud the fact that he spoke rightly in that moment. Lakin Riley was killed, brutally murdered, her life snuffed out from her by an individual who was in this country illegally. There is nothing wrong with using the term illegal alien, but as you can see, in subsequent days after President Biden made this statement, which is an accurate and truthful statement, his own side uh, uh, tried to bash him for what he was saying and attempted to police and correct his language because speaking in truth, being honest about what we were actually dealing with is not something that these wicked puppet masters want you to do. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. It's unfortunate that the president used that language. I don't believe that is the language that, believe, that he believes in his heart about uh, immigrant people who find their way uh, to this country to make a better life for themselves. He should have used the word undocumented. Um, I don't believe that the president's heart uh, is with the word illegal. I you use the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And so you, you regret using that word? Yes. And so they try to sanitize it and minimize his words and force him to apologize. So if you see the thumbnail, not only do I have a, a Mamarinette hand um, hovered over Senator Warnock's head, I also have one coming from uh, President Biden's head because both of these individuals are being puppeteered by someone behind a curtain. And we don't know who that person is. But my overarching question is, who is your master? For Raphael Warnock, I mean that spiritually, who is your master? And for Raphael Warnock, I mean that politically, who is your master? And then the same question I am posing to President Joe Biden, who is your master? We know that it is not the sovereign God of the universe. You are not bowing the knee to his sovereign will and decree, but rather, you are siding with the evil one, but more sinister than that, someone is trying to Jerome Crow you, Jim Crow Joe, and puppet and police your language. The one time you spoke truth and you spoke it rightly, your side is trying to diminish your words and try to police and shame you for using inaccurate terms. 
to describe what happened to that young woman, Lakin Riley. I've used the word undocumented. Um, I don't believe that the president's heart uh, is with the word illegal. Well, let's go ahead and continue. People being killed by illegals. To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. At his rally last night, Trump w- met with Lake and Riley's family. He blamed Biden's border policies for her death. The Rileys are your constituents. Is it not true that there were policy failures that led to this tragic murder? Listen, first of all, let me just say that my heart goes out to this family, uh, the family of Lake and Riley. And I can tell you as a pastor who has done hundreds of eulogies and presided over all kinds of funerals, there is no grief worse than when nature is tragically reversed and rather than the children burying the parents, the parents have to bury the children. And so it's unfortunate that in this moment of grief, there are those who are trying to score cheap political points. Uh, The border must be secured. We know this. There's agreement about that on both sides, which is why we had a bipartisan piece of legislation uh, uh, before us just a matter of weeks ago. And the fact that there are those who walked away from this bipartisan legislation, or at least a chance to debate it, and now they're trying to score political points in the wake of a young woman's death, uh, that is craven politics at its worst, is what turns people away from politics. And uh, I think we can do much better than that. We can secure the border and uh, we can make sure that we are doing everything we can to make sure our children are safe. Let's okay, so the- Raphael Warnock here attempts to demonstrate a level of compassion toward the grieving family and community of Lake and Riley. And I'm not convinced that he really cares about Lake and Riley. I cannot. Uh, uh, assume to pr- discern his heart. But here's what I will say. Um, Lakin is not the right color. See, the outrage that this side of the political aisle typically exhibits, they're only able to muster up righteous indignation when the assailant, the, uh, not the assailant, when the person who is subject or the recipient of the heinous crime, unless they are melanated, then their lives don't matter. You see, Lakin is not the right color. And more importantly than that, her murderer is not from the right country of origin. You see, he's from a place where we're not even supposed to talk about and speak rightly and speak truthfully about. He is an illegal immigrant who was already charged with other crimes in another state. And because of the soft on crime policies that you support, Senator Warnock, this individual was not allowed to be properly detained and deported out of this country because he's not even supposed to be here to begin with. And Lakin, yes, her life matters, but not to you because she's not of the right color. And so instead of you engaging in a meaningful way with the fact that an illegal alien someone who has who was in this country unlawfully was the murderer of this young woman you don't really have anything meaningful to say outside of well you know we we do need to secure the border but this is just an opportunity for the opposing side to score cheap political points sir this country is being destroyed by people who do not have this country's best interests at heart. And you are trying to convince us that we are trying to use this to score political points? A woman has lost her life brutally at the hands of a criminal. But you can't have righteous indignation toward that because she is not the right color. I am telling you guys, this Jerome Crow system that we are living up under, it is worse than its predecessor, Jim Crow 2.0. And as a preacher of the word and as a pastor, you had nothing meaningful to say other than to deflect and say, this was just an opportunity to score political points. I am I am appalled that you are still in a pulpit. It, it would make more sense, Senator Warnock, if you stepped down from the pulpit and just went full throttle into your Marxist, socialistic, communistic agenda, 
but instead you keep wanting to toe the line. So this is why I am asking, who is your master, sir? Someone is pulling your puppet strings to where humanity is lost on you. The idea that Atlanta is being overrun with fentanyl and drug cartel gangs and illegal aliens who are taking resources from Americans, our tax dollars are being spent to take care of these other people. And instead, you wanna claim that, well, you know, we tried to pass a bipartisan border policy, but what you failed to tell the people is that your bipartisan border legislation also included money to take care of some other people who are not Americans. You guys wanna send more money to Ukraine. You're not interested in the people who are blood born Americans in this country. You're not interested in taking care of them. You guys want to take care of everything else because you are a globalist. You are a part of the globalist elite class and the bullying and the tyrannical Jerome Crow tactics are being used to push your agenda forward. And the American people are the ones that have to suffer the consequences on the back end. You guys, this is not a pastor. This gentleman is not a preacher of the gospel or a representative of Christ or his church because he doesn't lead with the truth of what the scriptures teach, but rather he is controlled and he bows the knee to the God of melanin and to the puppets that pull his strings that say, Warnock, we need you to jump. And his response is undoubtedly, you tell me how high and I will skip to the loo as soon as you need me to. I want to read you something that speaks to uh, 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 the puppetry and the manipulation that is happening right before your eyes from individuals who care more about scoring political points and securing their globalist future than caring about all Americans, I can guarantee you guys, he would have implemented and started an entire march if Lakin Riley was a black woman. I believe that, and I am saying that, and I will not apologize for it. But here's what I want to read to you from Second Peter that talks about false teachers and false prophets. But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them, bringing upon themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their sensuality, and because of them, the way of truth will be blasphemed. And in their greed, they will exploit you with false words. You guys, we're being exploited with false words. How are we being exploited with false words? Well, for one... Whatever drug that Joe Biden was on that caused him to speak the truth in that moment and to say it with his chest, the Jerome Crow system is now trying to silence the president of the United States because he spoke the truth. You know how when an alcoholic or a drunk person gets too much liquor in them and they start telling the truth? That is what you saw there. That's what happened. President Joe Biden spoke the truth and he said, Lakin Riley was brutally murdered by an illegal alien. This person is here in this country illegal, and this is not their country of origin, and that their, this is not their country where they are a citizen, so that makes them an alien. Just like I am a stranger and an alien to this world because my true citizenship is in heaven, just like I am a stranger, an exile, an alien, a sojourner in this present world because this world is not my home, in the same way, if this is not your country of birth or of, of legal nationality or origin, if you are not a citizen here, you are an illegal alien. I understand Jerome Crow wants to police your speech and your languaging to make sure that you don't use the words that are on the bad list because they don't like truth. But President Joe Biden spoke the truth and his puppet masters have to come and clean up and clarify and sanitize what he said. 
because these people are emissaries of Satan and they walk in darkness and they're using a godless goon who is supposed to be a preacher of the word to shepherd and to bring in a message that does not move this country forward, but rather stokes the flames of division, doesn't want to deal with truth, even though this man is supposed to represent all Georgians. All Georgians, not just the black ones. But in their greed, they will exploit you with their false words and their condemnation from long ago is not idle and their destruction is not sleep. These people, these waterless springs, these mists driven by a storm. For them, the gloom of utter darkness has been reserved for speaking loud. Boasts of folly, they entice by sensual passions of the flesh, those who are barely escaping from those who live in error. They promise them freedom, but they themselves are slaves of corruption. For whatever overcomes a person, to that he is enslaved. So my question is to Senator Warnock, who is your master? Is it the one who shed his blood for those who believe and have placed their faith in him by grace through faith? Or is your master someone else? I am arguing that it is not the Lord of glory. You are not a preacher of the word and a shepherd and a herald of messages that are of truth because you won't speak the truth in love and you would rather side with the demons of debauchery known as the Democrat party than to speak up and just speak the truth about what is right. You kowtow and you cower down to the languaging and the messaging of Lucifer because if you dare to have an independent thought and to speak the truth, they will come for you. So my question, you guys, is who is your master? We can see here playing out that obviously somebody else is controlling Joe Biden. And we already know the whole Jerome Crow system is controlling Senator Warnock as well. We may not be able to do anything about them, but what about you? Who is your master? Who are you bowing the knee to regardless of what the culture is doing and regardless of what this wicked world is trying to tell you is right when you know that is wrong? Will you bow the knee and speak the truth and be willing to count the cost and lose your life for righteousness sake? Or will you allow yourself to be manipulated by some puppet master that is faceless and nameless? all because you have fear of man rather than fear of God. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to your thoughts down below. Do you believe that um, the policing of language by the Jerome Crow system and how a preacher who openly advocates for baby murder in the womb is now trying to obfuscate what is really going on at the border by glancing over it and saying, you know, both sides agree. You know, both sides agree that we need to, you know, secure the border. But I, if we ask him, well, is the border secure? He would sidestep that conversation. They want to minimize to minimize it to make you think that it's not as bad as it really is and not place the blame. Now, one time did he admit that the blame of Lake and Riley's death is on someone who wasn't supposed to be here. And if the border had been secure, we wouldn't have to be having this conversation. He didn't want to have that conversation. He wanted to politicize this and just point to the other side as opposed to taking ownership and responsibility. And Joe Biden took ownership and responsibility by saying an illegal alien murdered Lake and Riley. Now, it's still his fault because he hasn't secured the border. He's not interested in securing the border. But for once, at least he said the words and he said her name. And he spoke the truth. And now they're trying to suppress that truth. They don't even want his words to be replayed. So many Democrats have come out to correct Joe Biden's language, just like Jim Crow. You can't go here unless they say you can go. You can't speak these words unless they approve them to be so. 
That's the system of Jerome Crow. But you don't need to fear Jerome Crow because if you're free in Jesus, you can speak the truth regardless of the situation and you can speak it boldly and loudly. And when they silence one of us, three more of us, will. it's like we don't die, we multiply. So that's my message to the believers of God. Continue to speak the truth. Be able to discern and see these things rightly for what they are. And do not allow these people to try to, 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 to silence you and to hijack your words and your message and your language. We need to speak the truth about what it is that we see out here because the truth will make you free. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Grace and peace.